Dr. Thompson, you say that 1.2 million people will die of heart attacks this year and that of those 350,000 people will die before they even get to the hospital? That's right, Raina. 1.2 million Americans will have a heart attack and about 250,000 of those heart attacks will be recurrent heart attacks, people who have had a heart attack before. And in total, about 450,000 people will die of their heart attack. Unfortunately, 320 to 350,000 will die before they get emergency medical treatment in, in a hospital and that's a real tragedy. So obviously if you mm -hmm. can get to the hospital alive, yes. your chances are greatly improved of surviving. Well, That's an alarming number. It um, truly is. It truly is. So uh, you said also that only one in four people even know what the symptoms of a heart attack are. Could you talk about some of those symptoms? You know people uh, who are fortunate, I guess, if you're going to have a heart attack, mm -hmm. you're lucky if you have symptoms. And, ah. and it's interesting, the, the degree of symptoms does not correlate well with the degree of damage. So people really need to be alert for this because you can have very mild symptoms and be having a major heart attack or you can be having severe symptoms and it may not be so major. So you really need to pay attention. If you get pain in your chest, a heaviness, a pressure in your mm -hmm. chest, or and, and it may radiate up into your neck or to your back or down your, into your shoulder or down into your left arm, uh, it may or may not be associated with being sweaty and feeling weak, sometimes nausea. And then some people will have some of the other symptoms uh, mm -hmm. without the chest pain. They'll have neck pain, elbow pain, shoulder pain. So if we as uh, adults get unexplained pain, pain or pressure in our neck, in our arm or shoulder or our back, that we really can't understand why we're, why we're having it particularly if we become nauseated, if we become sweaty, uh -huh. we really need to be uh, alert and say, you know, I might be having a heart attack, I need to get help and I need to do it right now. So it's the unexplained pain and it could be even something like pain in your elbow. That's correct. Uh, I had a patient come in and that's all he had, but it's he was alert enough to say, you know, I have a pain in my elbow and I shouldn't be having that. I didn't do anything to cause that and, mm -hmm. and it wasn't tender to touch, it was unexplainable and he came in and indeed he, he was having a heart attack and uh, within an hour he was uh, uh, being defibrillated in an intensive care unit but he survived and he has survived many years since that event. Well that's good news. Thank you very much Dr. Thompson.